Do you think that the signals on your PCB ever get road rage? I mean, stuck in all that congestion down in the traces? Hey, move over, buddy. We got like 14 gigabits coming through. Bah! Get that crosstalk out of the way. I mean, what kind of... Ah, sorry. <laughs> got kind of carried away there. <laughs> Instead of fighting all that signal integrity stuff, sometimes the best solution is just to take the elevated freeway. Or is it more like a helicopter? Up and away and over the FR4. See you later, suckers. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. For high-speed signals, a flyover is most often the best solution. Either copper or... how about optical? See what I did there? Freeway or helicopter? Anyway, my guest today is Matthew Burns from Samtech, and we're going to talk about Firefly, a cool system that may just solve your signal integrity woes. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about Firefly from Samtech. Hi, Matthew. Welcome back to Chalk Talk. Hey, Amelia. It's good to talk to you again. Okay, so your topic today is mid-board optics. So why would I want to go mid-board? That's a really interesting question. The de facto design trend that we see in, in most data center equipment applications is when engineers have to make that conversion from the electronic domain to the optical domain, that typically happens on the front panel of their system. Why is that? Well, the majority of systems that we see in data centers, whether that's storage or networking or servers, they make that EO conversion on the front panel because they're leveraging pluggable MSA solutions that are very prevalent on the market. Pluggable MSA solutions do provide many advantages. The MSAs continually adapt to the needs of the market by supporting increasing performance whether that's increased channels, faster data rates, or lower power. A good example is the migration from QSFP to QSFPDD. Another advantage of pluggable MSA solutions is that they are supported by the industry standards bodies. They also have the support of the industry leaders from within the interconnect, cable, transceiver, and OEM vendor industries. There's also economies of scale, multiple sources. This supports interoperability. And again, it's a nice solution that the industry continues to adopt and drive. Amelia, even though these pluggable MSA solutions do provide many advantages, there are some concerns. A lot of questions can be asked about thermal concerns, especially as density gets very high, pluggable MSA solutions get longer. What about architectural flexibility? Do I always want to do the EO conversion on, on the front panel? Density is also always a concern. This brings to mind midboard optics. Why do I care? Midboard optics do provide an alternative solution for making that EO conversion away from the front panel. Okay, so first we should back up and define what you mean by midboard optics. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, this illustration kind of sums it up. Looking at a traditional QSFP Plus system, that EO conversion is really made at the board edge or on the front panel of a line card. But midboard optics really is talking about making that EO conversion closer and closer to the signal source. Two areas where Samtech is heavily involved in is both on board and also on package. We'll talk about both those throughout the chalk talk. But making that transition from front panel closer to the ASIC enables easier routing, higher system density, potentially better signal integrity, and also lower power options. So what solution does Samtech have in this space? Samtech's Firefly Micro Flyover System is our midboard optic option. This provides the highest total solution density of any midboard optic solution on the market. Firefly supports data rates of up to 28 gigabit per second. It's also very flexible because it can support either copper or optical interconnect options using the same MIDI connector set on the PCB. Firefly has also been designed to offer easy system assembly. There's no mounting screws, so it attaches to the PCB very easy. We talked earlier, because the Firefly is located as close to the signal source as possible, that improves signal integrity performance, as well as making trace routing easier. Firefly is very flexible, so when it comes to thermal dissipation, we can use either forced air or conduction cooling when using an integrated heatsink. Another advantage of Firefly is that we are data rate and protocol agnostic. What do I mean by that? We have applications that use Firefly for Ethernet, for InfiniBand, Fiber Channel, Aurora, and other standard interfaces that we see in system design today. Okay, so we're here talking about 
optics and copper, but Samtech is a connector company. So what got you guys involved in this space? The experience that we have in designing and manufacturing high-speed interconnect solutions or high-speed connectors really serves as the foundation for the Firefly system. The board connectors, which are illustrated here, are a two-piece connector system that enables Firefly to mount to PCBs very easy, but also offering high performance. The first connector that we mentioned is our UEC5 series, which supports the high-speed data of Firefly. This is a 0.5 millimeter pitch, which offers support for up to 12 differential pairs through the connector. This system is targeted at 56 gigabit per second. We have the performance data to back that up and it also offers an easy breakout region for optimized SI performance and easier PCB layout. The second connector that's a part of the Firefly 2P system is the UCC8 series, which is used for power and communication within the Firefly optical modules. The UCC8 series is a 0.8 millimeter pitch, which supports power pins, low speed control signals, and also has a, a latching locking mechanism, which secures Firefly to the PCB. It also offers uh, rugged weld tabs on the connector, again, helping to secure Firefly to the PCB in rugged environments. Okay, so Matthew, is Firefly a single component? Firefly is, is a modular design, which really increases the amount of flexibility that we have within the system. That allows us at the system level to offer easy configuration for cable type, fiber type, optical connector type, or even the heat sinks that we can attach to the system. And we'll talk more about that as we go throughout the presentation. You can also see from the illustration of what the system consists of that we at the component level have picked the MCU, the laser driver, the Vixels, the pin diodes, the transit impedance amplifiers, and the optical blocks to optimize performance not only at the component level, but also at the system level. So this modular design approach is in addition to our high-speed connectors is really the foundation for the performance of Firefly. So what are the benefits with the modular design with mid-board optics versus the pluggable MSA solutions? There are numerous advantages that the modular design approach that Samtech has chosen for Firefly supports. A good example is illustrated here when it comes to system density. So you'll see there sort of on the front right hand side of the illustration you see two pluggable MSA solutions. Those are QSFP uh, modules. They both support four channels of up to 25 gigabit per second, so it's a 100 gigabit solution. There you can see in a lot smaller solution just to the left of that with the tall pin fin heat sink is a Firefly optical engine. That supports four channels at 28 gigabit per second, so about 112 gigabit per second system performance on the same PCB, but in a much reduced footprint. So again, the density that we're able to get in system with Firefly over pluggable MSAs is a nice advantage that interests many customers. So this modular design does seem like it enables flexibility, but does this extend across the entirety of the Firefly system? It does. One area that we can illustrate that is in, in the options that we have for the optical Firefly cable assemblies. One option that we have is the half cable. What that refers to is the optical engine using the Firefly uh, interconnect on one side with a optical connector on N2. This supports both the bi-4 bi-directional cable option and also the bi-12 unidirectional, whether it's transmit or receive. We also have an active optical cable, which offers two optical engines on either side. And then finally, we also have what we call a Y cable, which supports two by four bi-directional Firefly optical engines or two by 12 optical engines connected to a single optical connector. So this can support either eight channels bi-directional or 12 channels bi-directional using this configuration. So these three approaches that we take really enable us to come up with any type of cable assembly option that our customers need for their end market applications. So what about my heat sink options. What are you guys doing about the heat? Any active electronics need to have heat dissipated. Our system has been designed specifically to support thermal dissipation, whether via conduction or convection. You can see on the illustration on the left that we have various flat heat sinks that are designed to be attached to a cold plate in the end system. Our thermal experts can work with customers to come up with the ideal solution using conduction. We also have a variety of options that enable convection using typical pin fin heat sinks. There's airflow guidelines that we have available working with not only our thermal engineers but our customer system engineers to identify the ideal solution to eliminate the heat in their system. So whether that's using a single firefly or, or multiple fireflies in a single system, we have various heat sinking options to eliminate any thermal concerns that the system may have. What are my options for connecting to the optical world? There are more than a few 
industry standard optical connectors that we can support with Firefly. The most popular option that we have is, is the MT Ferrell. Any type of enclosure that an MT Ferrell fits in, Firefly can be adapted to. We also have a lot of requests for industry standard MPO, MPT. An emerging optical connector, we're starting to see more that we've been able to adapt into Firefly is MXC. The Arab standard, ARIB, is based on broadcast video and broadcast audio that came out of the Japanese market. We're confident that that may have global applications as well. Another area that's really taking off for us is Firefly being used in mill aero applications. So we have a partnership with Amphenol Aerospace that uses their MT3899 connector that accepts an MT ferrule to give us a mill aero version of Firefly. And we still have customers that like the old LC fiber optic connector. We affectionately call it an octopus because that's what it looks like with all the LC connectors on the far end. So Matthew, where do you see this being used? We see Firefly being designed into a growing number of applications. Some of the examples that we see are our data center. Again, whether that's storage, networking, server applications, usually those are extended temp versions. We're having the mid-board optics option provides an advantage over pluggable MSA solutions. Firefly has been designed into numerous FPGA development platforms, not only from the FPGA vendors, but also from their ecosystem partners. It provides an easy-to-use optical domain solution for linking FPGAs. High-performance computing, there's a tremendous amount of application for Firefly for routing high-speed signals throughout high-performance computers. PCI Express expansion, briefly, PCI Express started out as a chip-to-chip -chip communications protocol, but we're seeing increasing amounts of customers, increasing amounts of industry that want to use PCI Express outside the box. Routing PCI Express, especially PCI Gen 4, PCI Gen 5, over copper, you have limited trace lengths. So getting PCI Express to the optical domain allows you to support that protocol over tens or even hundreds of meters. We talked earlier about the mill arrow growth with some of the extended temperature Firefly options that we have. Data acquisition, one of the emerging standards that we see there is the JSD 203B and JSD 203C standards linking ADCs and DACs to FPGAs. Some customers are looking to do that over fiber optic links. And then lastly, embedded computing. Again, that's leveraging some of the extended temperature products that we have. But again, that also ties into some of the PCI Express extension that we see as well. All right. So what kind of development kits do you guys have? One that we've had on the market for some time is our 14 gigabit per second Firefly FMC development kit. This comes in a Vita 57.1 FMC form factor. It features the FMC HPC connector. It has two two-piece Firefly SMT connector systems. As we mentioned earlier, the UCC8 and UEC5 series. It offers support for two of our Firefly active optical cables operating at 850 nanometers. It also features Samtex final inch breakout region trace routing for both the Firefly and the FMC connectors, so that optimizes SI performance within the FMC development kit. This solution offers support for 10 high-speed multi-gigabit transceivers operating at up to 14 gigabits per second per channel, and you can see that it's terminated to an industry standard MTP MPO connector. A follow-up that we have to that, which we'll be launching later in 2018, is our 28 gigabit per second Firefly FMC Plus development kit. This is a Vita 57.4 FMC Plus form factor, which comes with the Vita 57.4 HSPC FMC connector. This supports up to four Firefly surface mount connector systems, and again uses the by four bi-directional 28 gigabit Samtech Firefly active optical cable solution. It also has the Samtech Final Inch BOR PCB trace routing optimized for SI performance. This solution supports up to 16 high-speed multi-gigabit transceivers operating at 28 gigabits per second. We plan to offer an MTP MPO connector, but other options are also under consideration. Prototypes we should have before the end of first quarter of 18 and, and production second quarter of 2018. We talked earlier also, Amelia, about PCI Express expansion. One of the new solutions that we're bringing to market in 2018 is our PCI Express over fiber adapter card or PCOA series. This is a PCI Express by 16 edge card connector system. Our current solution supports PCI Express Gen 3 speeds and we're actively working on a PCIe Gen 4 solution. This solution supports scalable configurations for cost optimized performance solutions. What do I mean by that? We can support by four PCI Express either in a single, dual, or quad implementation. We can support by eight, either in a single or dual, or we can support a single by 16. Depending upon the configuration that's selected, PCOA also includes the PCUO series of Firefly solutions, which are specifically targeted at PCI Express. 
This solution enables computer-to-endpoint communication over long distances. Customers that are interested in computer-to-computer -computer communication, that's also available from our development partner, Dolphin Interconnect Systems. We've also demonstrated PCOA at some of the industry-leading trade shows, including supercomputing, PCI SIG, and the IEEE CPMT Symposium as well. Okay, this has been a lot to cover. Matthew, can you recap your main points for me? There is a lot of detail in the Chalk Talk, Amelia. We hope your listeners take away that Samtech's mid-board optics do provide many advantages over pluggable MSA solutions. Samtech's Firefly microflyover system continues to expand and diversify into new solutions and applications, as we mentioned throughout the presentation. Currently, Firefly supports both 14 and 28 gigabit per second data rates now, with a roadmap to 56 gigabit per second. If your listeners need more support or have questions, please have them email our technical experts at firefly at samtech.com or visit our website at www.samtech.com slash firefly. This was great, Matthew. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for your time, Amelia. We appreciate it as always. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out more information about Firefly from Samtech. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the Chalk Talk section of eejournal.com or head on over to YouTube, keyword eejournal.